welcome to my channel. This video is another scrapbooking haul for from Scrapbooking Oasis. Um, this is the second haul for this online company that I've ordered. I um, just really thought that I needed um, this other Halloween collection so I made a second order with them and here we have the shipment arrive really quickly. So let's get started. So I got some more things and um, let's take it out of the box. So one thing leads to another and then I saw this other collection and I just like thought, okay, let's uh, get it. So. Here's, uh, if you order $25 or more, you get a surprise mystery gift. So I got this really in this really nice Lawn Fawn photopolymer clay stamp, clear stamps. Just love this. Look how cute the mouse is and it has all these stationary craft supplies. I, I love stationary craft supplies and it seems like uh, it's um it's like a trend so uh, for um, this year and you'll see more of this craft supplies coming soon um, and here are some words here and it's just so cute I love the words too And now we have this P13 Sentiments. I have their collection. Uh, it's The collection is called Have Fun. And I have their paper pad, so I thought like maybe I need to get some sentiments to match the projects that I'm going to be making. I, I used only like a little bit on one of like Scrap Diva Designs projects for like the suitcase. Um, some kind of embellishment for bows and the straps for the suitcase and also the vintage key tag from Chaos Craft. I did that but um, yeah I'm planning to use more of that paper hopefully and it's, it's really a fun paper collection. And I got these I just love food related stuff and this is so neat it's like toast brads and eggs and bacon brads so yeah it's called breakfast brads and there's 12 pieces in here next up are these nouveau dream drops there it seems like they're like new colors and i don't have these colors and of course i have like maybe four or five other colors so i just wanted to complete the set and um, so here's this one is called fruit cocktail and this one is lemon twist so it's sort of like lemony orangey creamy and also iridescent kind of um, details for um, you could make um, outlines or drops with these and here we have simple stories noteworthy and um yeah so i discovered while buying poppy and pear all of these nice collections so that are new so i decided to get it because i'm obsessed with craft supplies and stationery <laughs> and these are supply bits noteworthy 39 pieces and look how awesome these are just awesome <laughs> These are page pieces. These are decorative brads. They're so cute. I love these wax seal box with the wax seals in there and then the stamp. It's just so cute. And the pencil shavings here. That's just awesome. And look at this clock. So amazing. I'll have more of this collection. Um, yeah, I'm just probably got 
stuff from many different stores and yeah it's just like I was like I bought so much stuff so let's move on to this coffee break I've got some coffee dyes from KS Craft and um, I didn't have any coffee paper and I thought it would be nice to like pair it with some coffee paper so hopefully I can work on these um, with this paper pad it's from p13 coffee break and it's really nice colors um yeah it's not all brown so that's what i like it has some pops of colors and it's really neat it has these um croissants and all these different pastries and drinks and flowers to match with it so i think it's pretty nice Here are some cut aparts. Here's a full page of this pastries. And look at this cute cappuccino. I think it's um, latte art. Which I believe KS Craft, I did some stamps with the KS Craft stamps with these um, patterns on it. It's really cute. It looks similar, but it's a stamp. Go check it out. And here's some more drinks, different kinds of coffee drinks. And I believe this is like um, two times. And here's some ephemera that you can cut out, fussy cut them out. So that's this design collection it's called coffee break and last here's the one um the happy haunts i believe this is the one that michelle from paper dreams and things she used in her projects from last halloween chaos craft halloween project so um i think hers was like uh, six by six so the patterns are a little bit different so these ones are 12 by 12 but i've ordered um I'm going to order six by six from scrapbook.com and those are the patterns are different from there but um yeah i'll show you these ones and it's semi kind of glossy but it's okay i haven't worked with this kind of paper before so it'll be interesting and has some gold foiling There's some gold foils on here too. And the colors are nice. And the, the images are just right for anything, large or small projects. That's really nice that it could come that way for a 12 by 12 pad. Cause sometimes the images are just too big. I like to work with like small embellishments but this is also good for like 3d projects just lovely patterns and here are some ephemera that you could fussy cut them out So that's for Halloween. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I, I I had so much fun doing Halloween projects last year. So I'm kind of preparing for Halloween coming. I know it's not, it's a long way to go, but yeah, I'm just preparing for it and super excited um, to use these collections. There's gonna be more coming. The six by six pads, I'm ordering them now and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you next time. Toodaloo!